Hello, welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Pisces weekly money and career reading from June 5th to the 11th, 2023. Pisces, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week. Pisces Weekly Money and Career, June 5th to the 11th, 2023. Thank you, Pisces, to each and every one for watching, sharing your journeys, sharing your energies. That is how I push forward in my readings. So thank you from the bottom of my heart to each and every one. Uh, don't forget to comment and, and just share your energies, share your journeys. Let me know where you stand on your path. Look at this. Beautiful. You're accomplishing something. This is something's coming together. Queen of Pentacles. Taurus Virgo Capricorn can be with someone. A um, uh, mentor or someone you're working with. A partner. Someone you look up to. Or this can be you. Queen of Pentacles, making things happen, transform your, transforming your idea, your project into reality, a creative project moving forward with this Queen of Pentacles and the world. It's successful. This is something you're pulling together. I love this. It's, it, it's realizing that you have done this. You have come this far and made transform this idea into reality or this business into reality or you're getting you're finally getting that job beautiful it feels like it's a creative job between the queen of pentacles and the knight of cups moving forward because the the queen of pentacles is someone very generous caring um someone very practical down to earth that can find solutions implement, make things happen, um, almost like a motherly figure. doesn't have to be, but someone, so it can be you in a project, in a business, in an idea to help others, guide others. Um, but it can also be someone helping you maneuver your way to achieve your goals, right? That show you love and that way to move forward when, when sometimes you feel st st stranded or, sorry, noises, that was odd, stranded, okay, uh, stranded or, or, or confused, right? Um, someone that's independent that's always helping you, I like this. And if it's not someone in your realm, in your environment, family, friend, mentor, coworker, right, boss, someone offering you or offering you the possibility to, to participate in a project, to get on board a team in a company, right? It's really you pulling this together. Wow. I like this. I like this really a lot, Pisces, because let's pull more cards, but with this world, it's you also getting out of a certain energy of um, thinking that it wasn't possible or, you know, getting rid of those unhealthy um, energies, thinking that, you know, it wasn't for you or it wasn't the right time or people don't believe in you or whatever people have to say. Yes. So you have the tower. Yeah. You're seeing things differently. This is a whole new ball game, Pisces. Sorry, had to sneeze. A lot going on here. A lot going on. All right. Yes, um, something is triggering action forward. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. This can be a couple. This can be um, um, a dynamic of power. Uh, power couple. This can be you and someone else partnering up. There's money coming in. There's an offer coming in, or you are receiving finances or manifesting finances to move something forward. King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles. Wow. Yes. Yeah, so this can, these can be family figures, or these can be people you're working with. Um, 
but very uh, the King of Pentacles is very uh, uh, comfortable financially, right? He knows how to identify um, ideas and transform. He knows how to make money, right? He has success, and I say he, not gender specific, of course, success in a creative task. So you are successful. You're pushing forward in something really successful. And again, if it's not you, this is someone that sort of wants you on their team and you're moving forward in something really successful. It's sort of uh, ambitious, but giving you financial security. So this can be a provider, a patriarch, a boss, uh, someone you're working with, a mentor, um, but is someone, uh, it's sort of like a, the, the King of Pentacles is a business person, someone very reliable, with, but with really, really high ambitions, with really uh, loving you know, material satisfaction. Money is important, success is important, ambition is important. But I feel like this person here is offering you a job or maybe loaning, lending you money or, or this is you feeling powerful within this new business project, job, whatever it is. You're confident. And you're ide you identified this opportunity or this person identified this opportunity and, is now, and now you're working on this team or project and it's growing and it's successful. But it's all, but it's all about discipline, investing yourself, investing money, invest. It's all about investing for success and transforming a vision into something tangible, working really hard. It's, it's money, but it's hard work. Maybe this is something different because you have the tower. So it feels like you're seeing things differently feeling things differently, approaching a job differently, right? And, um, but it's satisfying because it's bringing in money. Good for you, Pisces. All right, let's see. And of course, cards are falling as usual. Give me one moment. Yes, there we go. Ace of Pentacles. There's that offer. There's the financial offer financial opportunity from that emperor from that from that I feel like the king of pentacles and the emperor are the same people can be an Aries very very strong um a, a, a business person uh very a, a leader a leader a decision maker uh someone that doesn't take any nonsense and that likes to rule I feel like this is the person offering you this job or offering you a financial opportunity or a business opportunity that's really different. This is different than what you usually do with this tower. It's, it's you realizing with this tower that things are going to be different now. And I don't think this is in a bad way. Um, let's see where this is taking us. Because the tower is this all of a sudden, this sudden change or, you know, this awakening moment that, okay, well, this is for me. This is what I'm doing now. Yes. Wow. Yes. It feels like that. It doesn't feel chaotic. It doesn't feel like all of a sudden there's something surprisingly chaotic and changing. No, this feels like it's your moment of revelation that this is what you want to do or this is important, this is ambitious, like you have to work hard. Here you have the Eight of Pentacles. It feels like you're, you're offered an opportunity. Now again, this is what it feels like. It doesn't have to be like that. This is just an example. It'll be different for everyone. But it feels like you're offered an opportunity, um, a new job, a, a business partnership, or working on an idea, whatever it is. You and But it demands... Uh, rigor and ambition and a lot of hard work. It's something 
that can be very successful, very financially successful, right? But it's, a, it's hard work. And so this is sort of this structure here with the emperor is establishing, this emperor is establishing a structure, establishing a business. Uh, he, not gender specific, is the authority within this new empire or energy, call it what you want. And, and you are, they are taking control or they are in control or you are in control of this new ambition that you have, this new business that you're transforming. Yes, it feels creative. Uh, but the Empress is also about understanding, clear, clear on the subject, clear on what you're, ha what you're doing, right? It's all about nurturing this creativity and understanding that this can be abundant if you work hard to make it happen. She is all about sensitivity, abundance, uh, sharing, caring, being there, but it demands hard work. So maybe you're creating a, a project, a business, uh, a, you know, something to develop creativity, to sell art, to sell products of beauty or products, you know, something like that. Uh, it feels like there's a lot of sensitivity involved. So you could also be a, um, um, a, a caregiver or a therapist or, but for me, I feel like this is more artistic, even though, yes, because there's so many pentacles, one, two, three, four, five, five pentacles. It's not about, well, yes, it's about sharing and caring, but it, it feels like it's like about developing creativity. So maybe it's a platform for artists, artists, or a platform for people that have ideas, products, you know, it, maybe it's like Etsy or, or, or something, you know, creating a platform to sell or creating a platform for, for, you know, um, to gain, oh, okay, to gain financial knowledge to sell art or to sell music or to sell something artistic. Wow, I don't know where that's coming from, but that's the way it feels. There's a lot of money involved, a lot of people important, powerful. Okay, maybe it's music industry. I'm hearing music, music. This is something, maybe you're offered a platform to develop your music. Maybe you're offered a platform to, maybe you're you're writing lyrics. Maybe you're a musician. Maybe you're a composer. Maybe you are a singer, dancer, whatever in that field, you know, and in entertainment. And it feels like there are people around you very interested in what you do, implementing financially, creatively. They're there. They're giving you that platform. And this is new for you. All of a sudden, doors are opening. People are there recognizing your talent or recognizing who you are. One, two, three, four, five, five, six with the emperor and the empress. You have king and queen of pentacles and emperor and empress. And I feel like these are the same people. King, queen. And in between all that, there's a lot of money going on, but also a lot of hard work and dedication to make it happen. These are powerful, powerful people implementing, helping, or guiding. And maybe you are very powerful. Maybe you are very powerful financially. Maybe you are very powerful creatively. Maybe you already have a platform. Maybe you already have a... Um, a company, right? Or a record company or an entertainment uh, platform or something like that. A production company. It feels like that. It feels like production of something very artistic. And here we are um, maneuvering intuitively, right? It's, oh, this is like your intuition, but you're, you're, you're realizing, you're understanding that you're opening your eyes and opening your ears and your your mind to other skills, to other people, to more knowledge. You're rising up to more knowledge. You're allowing more skills to come in. Obviously, you're allowing these people to guide you, help you develop 
bloom into this artist and it, and it doesn't have to be an artist this is the the energy i'm getting but whatever you're doing it feels like there's money surrounding you or people with money surrounding you that are sort of pushing you forward helping you develop this whatever it is you do not have to be a musician you don't have to be any of that but that that's just an example all right and remember these are general energies these are not personal readings uh, uh but let me know let me know where you stand let me know what this is all about if you connect with this reading and if um if you don't wish to share on this platform not not everybody wants to which i completely understand just put a heart down below let me know you connected with these energies all right let's see what's going on in the second deck pisces weekly money and career june 5th to the 11th 2023 here we go yes partnership there we go so this might be someone you're partnering up to start a business to develop a project to develop music i don't know why I, I, I keep getting music but maybe that's just for one person this is a source or an entity or a person and i think that is the same empress <clears throat> queen of pentacles emperor king of pentacles this power couple feels like a power couple and maybe you are a power couple with someone right maybe you are this power couple but this is a power couple that is um making something happen big time letting go moving on moving out of something something emotional and maybe that's why you have the tower. Uh, you're you're deciding that it's time to move forward and move out move out of um, emotional situations, move it out of an, an emotional uh, circumstance, or you're really letting go of something. You're letting go of something that exists, but it's time to move on to this new platform, entity, business, development, whatever it is. Maybe you really have worked really hard to get your art out there, your music out there, whatever your talent is. It'll be different for everyone. You're, you're moving forward. And it feels like you were in a position, in a job, in a situation that no longer suited you. You have the hermit. Uh, and another person here, another powerful king of wands aries leo sag um a lot of powerful people a lot of powerful energies building business people um definitely people that know how to transform and here we have the hermit right you realizing that things are changing pisces you realizing that whatever it is that you're moving forward, whatever it is that you're shifting, changing, that you're deciding, because you have the tower, this is different, right? You're thinking differently. You're understanding that this is going to be different. Um, it's all about <coughs> introspection. The fact that you're leaving, that you're deciding. I'm surprised we don't have justice or or judgment because it feels like a big decision here but maybe uh this is a decision you have already taken or you already made but as you move forward and things change and you're moving into this new career new business new platform new idea whatever the new energy you do have to dig deep to adapt dig deep to um figure things out to figure where you belong what your role is in this new job or in this new way of developing your talent whatever it is it is successful um with the world you're really bringing it all together and if it's not you it's these people this power couple that's bringing it all together or maybe all of you are just pulling it together right but the the hermit is important here because it's really understanding how you are changing, how you are changing, changing inside. And that goes for everyone. Uh, as we move forward in life, as the world has changed, tumbled, and we are all uh, still adapting. Uh, but now we realized 
how much things have changed and how it's, how much we have changed and how much we are sort of left in this you know energy of okay well now here we are and that's who i am and i have my job or i don't have my job or i'm i'm ambitious or i need something else i need to create or i need to move uh i need one i new, need new energies i need new connections i desire something else i need a different air to breathe whatever it is right we're all in different energies you know that you're the one changing you know that you're the one that has the answers and that you're really leaving a period behind you're really leaving a cycle behind an emotional cycle something that has happened whatever but i think it's life it's life and you are leaving an emotional situation behind or a way of thinking, a way of feeling behind with this ace of, uh, Eight of Cups. And the Hermit really is um, that, that patience, that patience, that, that wisdom, but also the, the search of oneself, the search of one's soul, one's soul path one's purpose where do i belong what do i move into next what is this all about what do i want where do i situate myself what am i what am i building next who am i wow okay pisces interesting interesting reading all right pisces let's see if there's one last message for the road weekly money and career June 5th to the 11th, 2022, or 23. I've been wanting to say 2022 so, for so many weeks now. I don't know what that means. Let me know if you do. Um, but uh, here we go. Um, let me know where you stand. Let me know what this is all about, Pisces. Uh, and Or just put a heart down below if you don't want to explain all right let's see if there's one last message for the road yes two of pentacles not surprising juggling a lot having to figure things out <clears throat> a lot going on there are decisions to be made that's why i find it odd that there's no justice or or judgment but i think maybe that just means that you are have already made your decision right because you have thought long and hard you have the hermit and so you know where you have to go you know what you're doing and let me know what it is you know you know but it's deeply thought right you you have gained wisdom and understood that only you could choose only you could make this happen three of wands expanding your life there you go expanding your life planning planning to travel planning this next step <clears throat> the need to see the world, the need to do things differently, the need to connect with other people, needing another life. Wow. I mean, you're not the only one, right? Many people now, now that we've reached a sort of um, a place, not everyone, but some, where we realize things are not going to change overnight and things are sort of going to remain like this for a while. A lot of people are not finding their their balance, not finding their energy back, not finding their mojo and really realize that they would like to move or 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 a big a big decision to move back somewhere or move somewhere else or change careers or you know something like that. A lot of people are choosing different High Priestess. Again, right? We already had the High Priestess. Yes, allowing the knowledge in. King of Swords. Again, a lot of people involved. A lot of major, major characters here involved. A lot of, a lot of major power involved. And you have the Star. Beautiful. And Page of Pentacles. So, uh, double the Page of Pentacles, which is, again, this... Um, Manifesting finances, my, manifesting financial opportunity. You have the Ace of Pentacles as well. And a lot of Pentacles going on here. But here comes the star. So this is a calmer period for you, but also a period of growth. A period of understanding. And a period of creative growth. Your creative growth, whatever that means for you. You are positioning yourself 
into something completely different, successful, and you have pulled it all together. So maybe you're pulling it all together with these people, or maybe you're pulling it all together alone. I think there are a lot of people involved, but um, whatever it is, it's profound, a profound emotional change for you and a profound change of career or change of lifestyle. Wow. Wow, Pisces. That's all I have to say. I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to each and every one for sharing, for watching, for subscribing. Uh, and just put a heart down below if you don't wish to share your journey, which I completely understand. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week, Pisces. Take care. Bye-bye.